Good evening. Today is Monday in the ninth week of Ordinary Time. Tonight we commemorate Justin Martyr. Our evening prayer begins on page 663. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. God, our deliverer, as once you did for your martyrs and confessors, so now rise up the poor and comfort the betrayed through the one who for our sake became poor and whose betrayal brought our salvation, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The saints of God, their conflict past, and life's long battle won at last. No more they need the shield or sword, they cast them down before the Lord. O oh, happy saints, forever blessed, at Jesus' feet, how safe your rest. The saints of God, their wondering done, no more the weary course they run. No more they faint, no more they fall, no foe oppress, no fear appall. O oh, happy saints, forever blessed, in that dear home, how sweet your rest. O God of saints, to thee we cry, O Savior, plead for us on high. O Spirit, blessed our God and friend, grant us thy grace till life shall end. That with all saints our rest may be, and that bright paradise with thee. Our psalm this evening, Psalm 41. O oh, the joys of those who are kind to the poor! The Lord rescues them when they are in trouble. The Lord protects them and keeps them safe. He gives them prosperity in the land and rescues from the, them from their enemies. The Lord nurses them when they are sick and restores them to health. O oh, Lord, I pray, have mercy on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. But my enemies say nothing but evil about me. How soon will he die and be forgotten, they ask. They visit me as if they were my friends, but all the while they gather gossip. And when they leave, they spread it everywhere. All who hate me whisper about me, imagining the worst. He has some fatal disease, they say. He will never get out of bed. Even my best friend, the one I trusted completely, the one who shared my food, has turned against me. Lord, have mercy on me. Make me well again so I can pay them back. I know you are pleased with me. For you have not let my enemies triumph over me. You have preserved my life because I am innocent. You have brought me into your presence forever. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the first letter of Peter. Trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering. So, you will not, so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. If you, are in, if you are insulted because you bear the name of Christ, you will be blessed, for the glorious Spirit of God rests upon you. In Christ Jesus, the life-giving law of the Spirit has set us free from the law of sin and death. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. It is a spirit that enables us to cry, Abba, Father. The spirit itself bears witness that we are God's children, and if God's children, then heirs of God. We are heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. If we share his suffering now, we shall be glorified with him hereafter. These sufferings that we now endure are not worth comparing with the glory that shall be revealed. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord, be merciful, and hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you loved us to the end. Praise to you forever. You gave your life for your friends. Praise to you forever. You became the model of the holy martyr, Justin Martyr. Praise to you forever. You washed us through baptismal waters. 
Praise to you forever. You feed us with your body and blood and pledge of our salvation. Praise to you forever. You preserve us in your grace and save us from the power of evil. Praise to you forever. Almighty and everlasting God, in these days of struggle, we intercede on behalf of the people of the world. As we find ourselves in the midst of a global outbreak, we beseech you to send forth a fresh outpouring of the Spirit upon all who are struggling, fearful, or anxious. In a particular way, alleviate the pain and suffering of those who are ill, strengthen those who diligently labor in health care, and preserve peace in all other respects. That united together, we may overcome this virus and find a pathway forward to prevention and good health for all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, our Father, today we celebrate the memory of Justin Martyr, who gave his life for you. Grant that his love for you, even unto death, may direct our gaze without wavering towards the light of your glory, where he is united with the risen Christ, now and forever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me. O Lord, my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servant in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation that you have displayed in the sight of all the people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always with our loved ones both near and far away. May God grant us a quiet night and a peaceful death. May souls of faith be departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. <laughs>